All right, so what we've done so far in the first two presentations in this short series on what we call set theory is really to define what a set is. And hopefully we've had a little bit of fun in thinking hard about what sets are and what sets are identical to one another. And we did some exercises in the last video. It's a very simple idea. A set is just a collection of things and a set is defined by its members. And to identify which sets are identical, all we needed to do was to identify which sets had the same members. Now that's a very simple idea, but when we come down to actually doing it, you might have found that it was a little more tricky than perhaps you would otherwise have assumed. But getting used to not being tripped up over what are apparently very simple ways of doing things, very simple problems, is part and parcel of what it is to be a good mathematician. Now, let's just introduce some new terminology. Now, for the first bit of terminology I'm going to introduce is going to be the notion of a subset. Let's just write it in here. A subset. Now, we write it like this. Suppose we have two sets, A and B. Then A is a subset of B, and that's a kind of U on its side. Again, my handwriting is terrible, with like a little equal sign at the added to the bottom. A is what we call a subset of B, if, just if, everything which is in A, so what that means, if we write that, is that everything, everything in A, which is in A, set A, is also in B. So that's all that that sign means. A is a subset of B. Sometimes you'll see it written the other way around. You'll say B is, or A rather, is a subset of B. So we just put it the other way around. But if the bottom of the U is pointing towards the A, then the A is the subset of the set which appears on this side of that symbol. Okay, now let's just illustrate that pictorially by drawing a picture. Suppose we have a bunch of colored balls. A and B are sets of colored balls. I'm just going to take different colors here and I'm going to try and draw some balls. But you remember my handwriting and my drawing skills are, are very limited. We've got a red ball over there. We've got a kind of a purple ball over is that purple? I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'm not going to waste a lot of time about it. We've got a sort of blue ball over here. And then what else should we have? A green ball over here. And should we have a kind of an orangey, yellowy ball over here? Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of balls like that. Now let's draw around um, the balls that are in set B. All of those balls are in set B. It's like B is a bag containing those balls. Okay, so I've just driven, drawn a line around it, and I'm going to label that line B. So we can tell that all of those things are in B, and that there's nothing else in B. Just those five colored balls. And now let's draw a line around A. Let's suppose in A we have this purplish ball, this blue ball, and this green ball. So that is meant to be a different color line, but that is A. Is A a subset of B or isn't it? Well, let's just take a look. A is a subset of B if everything which is in A is also in B. Well, let's take a look at each of these three things in A in turn. This purple ball, is that in B? Yes, it is. Let's just put a little tick next to that to signify it. This blue ball, is that in B? Yes, it is. Is this green ball in B? Yes, it is. 
Is there anything else in A? No, there isn't. So, everything that's in A is in B. And so, indeed, A is a subset of B. Okay, and I'm just going to give myself a tick there to signify that I that that's right. Now let's go back. Let's go back. Let's undo some of the stuff. And let's take out A. Let's now suppose that A and I'm going to put it in a slightly different color here. Maybe I'll do it in a sort of a, a light blue. Now let's suppose that these things are in A. These five balls. Okay. That's A. Now, is A a subset of B now? Well, let's just take a look. Let's take a look, first of all, at this reddish ball. Yeah, that's in A. Is that in B? Yes, it is. This purplish ball, is that, that's in A. Is that also in B? Yes, it is. This blue ball, that's in A. Is it also in B? Yes, it is. This green ball, that's in A. Is it in B? Yes, it is. And this RNG-type ball, uh, that's also in A. Is it also in B? Yes, it is. So, is there anything else in A? No, there isn't. So, everything in A is indeed in B. So, A, again, is a subset of B. I'm going to give myself a tick for that. Okay, now, let's ask, is B a subset of A? is, let's just write it down here, is B a subset of A? Well, it is a subset of A if everything in B this time is also in A. So let's just take a look at it and we'll cross these off if we, if we think it is. Well, this thing is in B. Is it also in A? Yes, it is. So we'll cross that one off. This is in B. Is it also in A? Yes, it is. This is in B. Is it also in A? Yes, it is. And likewise, this one, and likewise, that one. So everything that's in B is also in A. So the answer is, yes, it is. And I'll put a big exclamation mark there. So B is a subset of A because everything in it is also in A. Now take a look at this. Everything in A is in B and everything in B as is in A. So what can we say about that, those two sets? Well, if everything in one is in the other and everything in the other is in the first, then the two are identical. They have exactly the same members. So, from this and this, we can determine that A is equal to B. It's exactly the same set because it has exactly the same members. Now we can also say that if A is equal to B, everything in A, in other words, is in B, and everything in B is also in A, then if we're given that A and B are the same sets, we can also say that A is a subset of B, and, I'll just underline that, B is a subset of A. Simple enough. If they're the same set, then everything in one is in the other. Everything in A is in B, which makes A a subset of B, and everything which is in B is in A, which is to say that B is a subset of A. Now suppose that A and B were not the same sets. And let's go back and take a look at a bag of balls. Let's define a set. Let's suppose that this... I'm going to do some smaller balls here that these are the balls in one of our sack. Are they different enough colors? Right, there we go. That one's red this time. And we'll put in a green one. Let's put in an orangey one there. And then let's put in, what other color should we put in? We've got a purple one up there. And let's put in another color just to make sure. Let's put in a nice gray ball. 
Well, actually, grey isn't a very nice colour, but... Now, let's suppose this. Let's suppose that all of these balls are um, in the set B. So, once again, we'll draw a line around them. And we'll say that is all of the things that are within that line, that circle. It's not much of a circle, because I'm not very good at drawing. But um, everything within that line is in the set B. And let's suppose A is these three things. Here it's the orange ball. The only things that are in A are the orange ball, the green ball, and this, what we said is a grey ball, but it looks more like a black blob. Now, let's see who, which of these two things is a subset of the other. Well, they're clearly not equal, first of all. Now, let's see. Is A a subset of B? Is everything in A and B? Well, that's in A. Yes, that's also in B. That's in A. Yes, that's also in B. That's in A. Yes, that's also in B. And there's nothing else in A. So we have A is indeed a subset of B. Is B a subset of A? Well, is everything in B and A? Well, these thing, three things in B are in A. But there are three other things that are in B, but which are not in A. So, uh, what we could write, remember we put a line through these things to signify that it's not the case, is that B, is B a subset of A? No, it isn't. So we put a line through it. B is not a subset of A. Why not? Because it's not the case that everything in B is also in A. There are some things, in other words, to put it another way, that are in B, but they are not in A. And they specifically are this red ball, this kind of, what is it? It looks like a, a jumping bean, a sort of browny thing. And this, we'll call this as purple ball. So those things are in B, but they're not in A, so B is not a subset of A. Now, if A is a subset of B, and B is not a subset of A, then they're not equal. So what we can do is we can generate another sign without this equal sign underneath. And what we can say is that under those circumstances, A, and we it's not equal to... So A is a subset. That's supposed to be a U on its side, by the way. Again. Well, it's not a C, it's not a whatever. But And so A is a subset of B, but it's not equal to B, as it was in this case. And what we say there is we use that sign without the sort of equals bit, the additional line underneath it, to signify that A is not just a subset, but it is what we call a proper subset. Under those circumstances where you see that written is A is a proper proper oops, that's supposed to be proper again. My writing is terrible. Proper subset subset of B. Okay, well again, forgive my writing, but that's terminology. If A is a proper subset of B, then everything in A is in B, but there are other things in B that are not in A, so A and B are not identical. They're not equal.